So I got it in the cart. I have the uh, last parts that I should need in order to get the front end driver's side completed, reassembled. But that total is preventing me from pulling the trigger. Not because it's that high, but I have, um, shall we say, some job concerns right now. <laughs> so uh, all uh, superfluous spending is quit until that is resolved. Uh, and I have some certainty on that. So in the interim, I thought, hey, why not sneak a pinball machine video in? So I found this in a uh, storage unit uh, that I bought some years ago. And uh, it's a uh, vinyl cutter is what it is. And um, <clears throat> what I used was just some odd thickness mill of plastic that I ordered. Oh, here's the box for it. I don't, probably won't say on it. Stencilies. Create your own custom stencils. Anyways, that's where I bought it from. This plastic to just for... And I actually was trying to cut it, hand cut it, before I thought of this uh, vinyl cutter that I got. And uh, I just saw one at a pawn shop and they wanted $350 for it. I don't know. That seemed a little excessive to me. I bet you could get it cheaper than that on eBay or something. But anyway, so then I cut. <laughs> what I did is I took a picture of the original uh, artwork that was on the uh, head here. And uh, then I spent like uh, three weeks editing to get the two because it's just two colors blue and orange and um i did i i say spent like three weeks maybe it's a month editing the the picture to separate the two colors and then i uh and it was the main reason it was so hard was because how bad the what was left on there was there was very little to grab edges of and stuff to to do if you know uh paint shop not paint shop, uh, Photoshop. Uh, I use GIMP. It's a, a knockoff um, free one. Anyways, <clears throat> um, got the two colors separated, then used that printer, that that uh, vinyl cutter, and cut the, the stencil out of the plastic that I had got. So then what I'm doing is I uh, uh, got it just where I want it. Uh, I measured the other side. The other side was just basically uh, eyeballed where I thought I would want it. And uh, so I put that, uh, measured it, did it, took a couple measurements and uh, marked it, marked them with some pencil on this side, a uh, couple of different places. And then I put the plastic on and taped it there. And then I just basically hinging it, flopping it up, and I'm going to apply some adhesive adhesive <clears throat> so and I got her flipped up there and then I'm going to uh, mask off the board underneath and put some tape over that just your basic uh, masking techniques <clears throat> I'll leave that piece on for when I paint. This piece I'll have to obviously take off. Or there won't be any paint on the actual jigger. Uh, I had bought masking paper 
at um, Harbor Freight, or no, um, Lowe's. A whole bunch of it and uh, a couple of rolls of it, but it would last me a long time for this kind of work. <clears throat> yeah, and I can't find it anywhere. So I'm doing what I usually do. I got a U line catalog. <laughs> the things are massive. And uh, rather than throwing it away, help me out here. Now this stuff's not that messy, so I'm not going to go crazy with masking this whole side. I'm just, uh, just trying to keep it off a bit. So, you know, for the overspray and stuff. <clears throat> okay. Then I just got this um, Loctite uh, spray adhesive and it's uh, general performance lightweight bonding uh, and it's light uh, obviously I want to be able to take this template off when I'm done so uh, okay I think that should about got her front still masked from painting so we're all good so I'm gonna start up here I'm gonna coat this pretty good um, particularly in all of the small areas. Uh, the last, the other side I did, I went pretty light with it because again, I was afraid of it sticking too much to the board when I was done. And, you know, it just left a little bit to be desired on the um, particularly the small cutout areas and uh, I don't want I want to try and seal those as much as possible so That should about do it. All right, so that's pretty well covered. Now I'm just going to layer down. Ah, that mask tape is going to cover. Take it off. Again, mostly just shooting for adhesion around the uh, cutouts is my main concern. And I'll make adjustments to the rest of it from there. and learn. I actually did it uh, on that side second. This was the first side. I didn't use any adhesive. I just uh, tried to hold it and spray. <laughs> well, I, put, I taped it, but then just kind of push it on the parts and, and then spray in it. And uh, that did not work out well. That's why it's getting painted again. I had to redo the whole thing over again, so. All right, anyways, I think that's about it. I'm gonna finish masking uh, the, wh the white around it, and then we'll go for it. All right, got my little gun attachment here. I'm gonna figure out best camera angle without getting in my way. All right, here it goes. Gently. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna let 
Dago for a second. I know this is all shaky and I'm not uh, doing this very well right now, but I gotta get into a groove. And, uh, clean the tip off pretty good, but. Keep doing that, I guess. Patience is key. <clears throat> That's where I really blew this the last time. Even with out having this template mashed down like I do, it still would have been serviceable. But I got impatient and uh, overloaded the paint. It ran. It was horrible. So my phone got hot and uh, the camera shut off and it wouldn't come back on. And obviously I had to keep going. Um, so I finished that and then I just pulled that off. And uh, one of the things I was worried about and the reason that I had put it on thin before is that some uh, I was worried about the adhesive coming off on it. And there is a little bit of that. Um, maybe see it there a little bit better. Right above the shoulder. <clears throat> Anyways, so the whole thing's gonna have to dry, and then I gotta figure out how exactly I can get that adhesive off of there, but before the blue goes on. So, and then if you can see, even with all that adhesive, uh, I had some gaps here and there, and a little overspray went in underneath that. Believe it or not, this is about a thousand times better than the original as far as the overspray goes. I don't know exactly how they did it. I don't think they did any adhesive. It was probably cut out of like a, a harder material, like a cardboard type thing. And <clears throat> they would just push it against it and spray it, is my guess. You look at some of them from the late 60s, 70s in particular, and uh, you'll see these stencils uh, were that way. And then you see my previous one, I still had overspray. Um, the blue is actually... I think gonna be better than the, the orange as far as that goes because I have a, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot more stenciling, but it's this all, it, none of it is popping up like it did in the or on the orange stencil. I got one little spot right here and actually it's laying down now. So none of this is, is raised like that the orange one i had spots right here in particular on this collar that are just kind of warped and then down here by the the feet or the, or the ankle and this doesn't have any of that so i think with the additional adhesive on there it's going to be better than the or lay down better than the orange but i'm very happy with it i'm more than satisfied and looking very much forward to this being a done project, or part of this project anyway. Okay, so addressing the issue I've got with having some of the adhesive still on <clears throat> that got left on when I pulled the uh, the uh, stencil, when I pulled the stencil off and it left uh, some gummy some of the adhesive on here. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe right there's a good spot. So uh, just a tip, this is the stuff I use. Yeah, it's an orange air freshener. And uh, let's watch this here. being gentle because I don't want obviously to uh, have any problems with the paint but so there's that and it's gone and uh, yeah orange air freshener I learned that years and years ago working in retail I had uh, to clean a lot of shelves and 
you know, you change off the labels and stuff and it leaves the, the goo on there. And that stuff we would just use, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be that particular one. Any cheap, uh, the cheapest uh, air freshener, orange, you know, citrus air freshener that you've got. I'm telling you, it's better than Goo Gone. And it's a lot more gentle, it's a um, natural sort of a thing. So it doesn't, and it doesn't leave that oily film on it. Just cleans her right up and, uh, you know, no paint on my paper towel. So uh, I think we're going to be okay here. Okay, a tip on a tip, though, on that tip. <laughs> uh, after having used this successfully for um, many, many years, I like to say it's probably been 30 years since I started using that. I got to the point where it's never had any problems with any surfaces, so I, I quit even trying uh, or testing it on, on anything. Don't do that. <laughs> this is a old bubblegum machine I got at a yard sale, and that is permanent. Uh, there was a sticker there, and I used the citrus um, air freshener. And by the way, I got that at Lowe's. <clears throat> but like I say, you can get it anywhere, Walmart, anything. And it's just the cheapest one. But so for this, pla this is plastic, um, clear plastic. Definitely don't use it on that. But <clears throat> again, the paint, it is having no problems. Uh, no nothing coming off but the goo. So, there it is. Okay, pretty much the same drill with the other color. Found my paper. No pocket knife.
That laid a lot smoother <clears throat> than the orange did. That is pretty nice right there. Uh, I got a couple of things. I forgot that this was the case, but the corner of the Stark is off the edge, which is exactly the way it was on the other side. <clears throat> and what I got for eyeballing it <clears throat> the last time. So the only thing I can do with that is tape it. Here, so. Here, so it doesn't come off the other side. Spray a bunch of overspray back there. And then uh, I have seen, <clears throat> I had a piece, I had some tape on it, and I thought that I had just left tape on it, but this one right here, this star, has a little chunk out of it is uh, apparently why I had done that. <clears throat> Good enough. All right, it's spraying time. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but when I started, I forgot to mask the bottom off. <laughs> so we're about to see what that looks like. I set, um, let this set for about 10 minutes, and uh, now I'm going to go to the reveal, as they say. I don't know who they are, but they say it. I know they say it. A lot. to be gentle. Not tear it up. Not tear off paint. That kind of thing.
Well, there she be. Not bad. My alignment's off a little bit. Darn it. Not horrible, though. Looks pretty good. Definitely um, a lot less fuzzy than it was the last time. This is some pretty sharp edges for the most part. Oh yeah, so let's see what happens <coughs> under here. <laughs> I think I can clean that up pretty decent. Just more work. Dang it. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I still have a little ways to go. Gotta get uh, circle templates and do all the little balls in his hand and stuff like that. And I'll show you the final picture. Um, this is a picture of uh, side by side, the other side of it and the original. And uh, you can see that that's the best side. The other side was substantially worse originally. I don't have the picture for that. That's the I took this side because uh, it was the best side, so I was using that to make my templates off of. Um, in any case, uh, it's you know I got some cleanup to do for my overspray, and got to put the balls on, and I'll show you like I say the picture of it once it's completed. But that's pretty much the process, and I'm pretty well close to done with it. And uh, hopefully next week I'm going to be uh, gone for about a week. We're going to go back to Texas for a little while. And uh, when we get back, hopefully I'm ready to order parts for the truck. And when we get back on that, we'll see you next time.